guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome I'm so happy you found me I'm Lisa and today I have a super fun super cute um little mini journal to make with you but first I've got to share my inspiration this little journal how adorable how beautiful is this I got this from Liz my co-admin in our group creative haven on Facebook I got this from her shop about four or five years ago, and it's been hanging out in my purse, and I use it all the time. It's two signatures in this little thing. How adorable, right? And she's just done such an amazing job with this that I thought, I want to share this with you because she inspires me. If you remember, I did the flip through of the green um, journal she made me, and I keep it just for inspiration. I'll put the card above for you. Well, this is another one that she's created. She's super talented, and right now she is making Christmas stockings based, and they are gorgeous. I mean, they are rich fabrics, beautiful colors. I mean, you have to go check them out. I will link her Facebook page and her Etsy shop down below. But these stockings are made based on characters like Downtown Abbey, Bridgerton, and more. So you've got to go check her stockings out. But if, about four or five years ago, she made these. And I got one. And like I said, it's such an inspiration. Plus, I use it. So I thought I'd do a quick flip through of hers. And then this big pile on my desk. Hopefully, we can turn into something cute like this. But first, let's do our flip through. So here's the front cover, and you can see she's sewn it. This is fabric and some really pretty trim. And then there's the back and then, I mean the spine and the back. Okay, it's hard. I think it's cardboard, but I'm not for sure. You open it up and she used like a little bag as a pocket. And we have a flamingo cut out and some of that trim that she's cut just one flower off of we also have a black ribbon to accent the black and the flamingo and a little pink button and this is a working pocket and she had uh, paint chips in there to use as note cards and then she just has a bunch of different papers that I mostly I use this for list I'm a big list maker and so she has this for list different size paper she has some textured papers this is like from you know vegetable and fruit bags she has menu papers she's gessoed on the papers just everything she would do in her large journal there's the center she did in this mini journal and it's just so awesome like I said there's all different kinds of paper there's all different kinds of textures going on different colors and it's two signatures which is you know amazing in such a little journal she has some of that she even put some you know paint paper in here I mean it's just a gorgeous journal it has pictures like Hold on, I can't, my fingers are not working today. All right, it has pictures and she gessoed again so you could write all around this. Very much attention to details. She did some edging on there. So it's just really my inspiration. Like I said, it's gorgeous. And there's the end of the first one. Here's the beginning of the second one. And it's a little flip out with her paint card. And then we've got music paper. Craft paper. I mean, there's just a ton of pages in here. How did she cram so much in such a little journal? I will never know. And then the back is just some decor and fabric and stuff. But how cute is that? So what we're going to do is we're going to take our inspiration, take my big pile of papers, fabric, and hopefully turn them into this. So let's get okay. started. So what we're going to do now is we're going to mark four inches on here. 
Okay, so I went back and remeasured, and I measured this one wrong. This is the correct size. It is six six by four and a half. And when you fold it, you get this size, which is very comparable. Now we're not going to get rid of any of our little cardboard pieces. We might need those as pockets or whatever, but first. We're going to crease it really well, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cover the outside with some fabric. And I think I'm going to use my flowers because it's still summer, and I think it will look really good. And it will show less dirt covered with these flowers than it will with my yellow squares, but I might use my yellow squares too. So all I'm going to do is sew around the edges and sew it down. So I went and I just sewed my cover around just like Liz did on hers, but I'm going to wait and decorate mine. Let's get the inside together. <clears throat> and I just pulled out all my bits and pieces I have. Plus I pulled out one paint strip like her because hers is so cute. And what I'm going to do is just go through my pages and just pick some that will work. And I have some that are all different widths and sizes and lengths. And that's what we're going to use. And then we'll just trim up anything that needs to kind of be trimmed up. But if they're raw edge, they're raw edge. It's fine. I'm going to leave them raw edge. I'm not going to smooth them out. It, it's really meant to have some character and I think it's so cute when it does have like rough edges maybe on one half of the paper or whatever. So all I'm doing is just grabbing all my paper pieces here and just folding them into a signature just like we do the big signatures. Just trimming the music up a little bit because it's a little bit too long. Okay. And I'm going to have some half, half sheets just like I do in a regular journal. Just going to trim them. I'm going to add a little card ephemera just as a page. do we have I have a bunch of plain paper that I can make list on because I don't know if you missed it but I use mine a lot for list now she did two signatures I'm just gonna do one because I just want you to be able to get the feel of how to make these I already have hers to use and I still have some room on it, so I don't need to make, you know, a big, huge two one. But I do want to put enough on it that you definitely get the idea. And all you can see is I've just picked up a bunch of scrap pieces of paper. <clears throat> and I'm just folding them, making a signature, and trimming just where they're absolutely way too long. And again, you can make two signatures for yours like she did. You can make one. Okay. So there's my signature I made. And as we can see, it doesn't quite fit. So now I'm going to use my cover as the guide and trim off all the excess paper that I don't need hanging out of it. And there we go. There's the signature inside. And I'll do a flip through when I'm done. But all I did was go through my scrap pieces of paper here and fold them in half. And that was it. Now, we're going to go through and use some of the things that, you know, you sit and you make glared pieces while you watch TV or something, or I do. We're going to go in and maybe make a pocket at the front and the back of the little journal. But right now, we still have clear cardboard. So what I'm going to do now is instead of using a scrap piece, 
I'm going to come in and either use that or just the orange side. I think I'll use this. It has all the colors that are in my flowers on the other side. I'm going to cut it to fit. And I'm just going to double side it, double stick, stick it down with double sided tape, or you could glue it, whatever you like to do. Those who've watched me for a while now know that I totally use double sided tape while I'm creating because it makes it faster for all of you, and I don't have to sit here and wait for glue to dry. Waiting for glue to dry is like waiting on water to boil, it's not fun. Okay, so there's the cover and there's my inside. Super easy, super fun. <clears throat> now, I'm gonna take one of these things that I have sat and decorated while I watch TV. And I have a couple, I have this one and the long one. I'm used to the long one. And I'm gonna put it right inside against the edge and make like a tuck spot. But I'm gonna half it first lengthwise because it's a little too wide for what I want to use it for. And there we go. And then let's stick something in the front. I have this German uh, word card, whatever you call these. And I'm going to vocabulary card and I'm going to stick it in because I could write on that. I could also stick in this blank tag I have right there there we go so on the back i think i will come back and let's take this little birdie thing oh you know what i'm right on that we're gonna leave that as a journaling card so let's take the word happy and let's make a little pocket across the bottom if it's perfectly Yes, today what started all this was I was cleaning out my purse and then I was cleaning out all the little bits and pieces in my scrap folder and happy, happy. And I just found Liz's little journal and I thought, you know what, we need to make some of those. Okay, and I said this would make a good journaling card. So we're gonna put that in there. And I'm gonna put a couple of the yellows in there because of course we all know paint chips make great journaling cards and I'm gonna do three and it actually matches the happy almost so that'll be fun so I put that there now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my pages and I might add a few more to them I'll add the yellow Okay, now I'm gonna bring my, it to my journal, put it in my fold, and I'm gonna get my owl, 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 my pokey thing. And I'm just going to make sure all my middle pages, all my half pages are in the middle so they get, you know, poked right because we want everything to then I'm just going in and I am just poking. I have a video on how to do this if you have sensitive hands, if you have arthritis, that kind of stuff. And poking through fabric, a lot of people are intimidated. They're like, oh, it's too hard. And look, I have bad hands and I'm just going right through it like butter. Like butter, guys. Okay, now I have my wax thread right here with my needle. So I'm just going to put that down for a second, get off some wax thread. And this process is the same no matter the size of journal. Same as we always do, we're gonna go down through the middle because I wanna tie my knot in the center of my signature. So down through the middle, up through the top. Down through the middle. Be careful because you can go through your thread and you don't want to do that. You want to make sure you're going through the hole and not your thread. Make sure you're pulling your thread tight and then last time go up through the bottom. Okay, pull it up and then tie it in the middle and trim up all your extra. 
and that's it. So I'm going to tie it. Now, if you don't have a sewing machine to sew um, a cover, you can glue it with fabric glue. It works great. You could double side tape it. Okay, and then you can put a little charm in the center of a very mini journal. Now, I think I'm going to go back and decorate maybe one or two pages just because. Let's see, a page that I can't really write on maybe. There's only a few of those. Maybe I'll make like a little pocket right here. Might use my... Yes, I'm going to use one of my yellow paint chip colors. Just one. And some of my skinny double-sided tape. And I'm going to make it a little pocket right there. Okay, just drop it down right there. It's a little tuck spot. I'm going to throw in this little card. And there you go. Isn't that cute? Okay, and then we can go back on the back side, same piece, ugh, same piece of paper, but we're on the back side of it now. And let's do, look, I found a page with some lace on it. I'm just going to cut that off of this paper with the paper backing and all. Tape's a little wider than the little piece of lace, so what I'll do is on the edge there, I'm just going to fold it in. So it's all taped on itself. And I'm going to come back here and just put the paper on the edge. So I have like a little lace decoration on the edge of my mini journal page. Very cute. Okay. And then the, so yeah, I am happy with this. Now, all right guys. Well, here's the inspiration from just cleaning out my purse today to this. Hers is way better. I'll share the one we made. And like I said, you can make these one signature, two signature. You can make the um, covers thicker like Liz did. You can make them like I did then. Totally up to you. Totally make it your own. But what a great little mini journal. Perfect for in your purse, your backpack, in your car. Just to jot down those lists, those notes, those takeout orders. There's a tuck spot. We have all different size paper, just like a full size journal. You could make these with just all white paper and make them like little art journals to go. This is a little tuck spot made from a paint, paint chip and we got some tickets and a little card in there. Lots of room to write, to list. There's the center. You could put some charms on there if you'd like. I did the pamphlet stitch, just like a full-size journal. And again, this one measures um, four by three. I added a little lace. It's got a little decor there. Everything's just like a full-size journal, only in miniature. And then we have our happy pocket in the back with a little journaling card and a paint chip card. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. I hope you enjoyed seeing the gorgeous mini created by Liz like four or five years ago. And I hope you enjoyed my version as well. Let me know down below in the comments if you're going to make a mini journal or something else mini. I'll see you soon. Bye.